Hey friends, welcome back to Vlogmas. Uh, I did not vlog at all this past weekend, but today is Monday, December 18th, I think. Part of the reason why I didn't really vlog, the weather was kind of frightful. Fire, we don't have one, it could not be delightful. Um, I didn't vlog this weekend. I had a slight change of plans, so, Long story short, I found out that the job that I was supposed to go back to in two weeks no longer exists. So I <laughs> just felt a little bit like, oh shit. So I just didn't really feel like vlogging this weekend. And with the weather being really gray, we just stayed in. We didn't do anything. I mean, not that I've been doing anything for my vlogs anyways, but yeah, we just took the weekend to chill. I swear literally every time I put something on, like there's something on it. The life of being a mother. Um, but I wanted to start the day, start the vlog before I forget and show you guys the sweater that I printed for Christmas. Uh, if you are new, you haven't seen me on, um, I guess TikTok is where I shared it. I printed a sweater for Adam for Easter as like a little Easter present. And it was a photo of my daughter wearing like this little bunny outfit. She was so tiny in that picture, but a little, um, bunny outfit. And then I edited it so that she looked like she was sitting on clouds and it was all like pastel colors printed on a sweater. And then come Halloween, I was like, well, I have to do it again. So she was wearing a little bat costume and I did a little edit and put it on two sweaters, one for me, one for him. And I was like, well, you know what? We just got to keep this going. So I dressed her up in a little Christmas outfit and then did a little edit. And this is the final product. I am, this might be my best work yet. Um, yeah, so anyways, <laughs> since I don't have a job, if anybody wants like these little baby edits, uh, let me know and we can figure some out. Who knows? Maybe that's my new job. We'll see. Anyways, um, I was going to do a little bit of Christmas shopping today, but the shop that I wanted to go to only opens at noon. So I'll probably wait until I pick her up from daycare and then we'll go up together and it's gray and rainy outside again, so it's not the most inspiring day, but oh, when I have to go mail off a couple um, Christmas cards and maybe drop off a little Christmas gift. I don't know. We'll see. I need to go get some fresh air. I don't know who I was kidding when I thought I was going to do like a regular Vlogmas this year, but uh... I haven't filmed anything since Monday and quite frankly I just haven't really felt like it I feel like mood wise I've just been a little meh and uh, it's cold and I had a headache um, for like two days and today it's still kind of there but I picked up some Advil and hopefully I'm going to nip it in the butt nip it in the bud. I don't know what the saying is supposed to be, but anyways, um, yeah, today's date is Thursday, December 21st. We have four days until Christmas and I just got back from the gym. I picked up some sushi. Also don't at me. I am eating the sushi with a fork because I don't have chopsticks. Mm, 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 mm. I went back to the gym today and it felt really good to just move my body. I am still taking things very light. Um, I was very late going back to the gym after um, having my daughter and I went a handful of times in like the first however many months um, but not consistent and not the workouts that I was doing um, were very late. Also I picked up, um, so after the gym today I picked up this, I have, oh where's the light? Organic matcha shake, 18 grams of plant protein, got some sushi. I treated myself to a lunch today. So yeah, went to the gym, had a good, decent workout. I, like I said, have been really easing back into working out. I've not been regular, but now that baby girl has um, been to daycare for a couple hours for the last couple weeks, um, I started to go back to the gym and then got my mm, lady time. So 
uh, took a break and now I went back today. So I'm hoping to get a little bit more regular before I am back into some sort of work schedule, which obviously now I have no idea what that's going to look like since I have to figure out what work I'm going to be doing. But it did feel really good to like go in and move my body. I'm not doing heavy weights. I used to, I've never done heavy weights or heavy lifting, but I'm doing even lighter right now. I'm just trying to get some like good consistent movement and I just want to feel good in my body. We did have a really fun day on Tuesday, which I filmed for like my personal sake, but um, so Adam's work, they did this thing where they brought puppies into the workspace, into one of the rooms for the day. And um, employees were able to like book a time to just go and hold puppies. I think the company, there was a sign called puppies or that said puppy sphere. So maybe that's the company. Um, I'll either, you can look it up, but um, yeah, they literally just, there were seven puppies. There were seven little pit bull puppies. They were so freaking adorable. We went um, just after lunch. It was like 12, 20 ish. Apparently the puppies were like crazy energetic all morning. I picked my daughter up from daycare and then we went there. She was only there for like two hours that day because we had a date with puppies. Puppies are her favorite thing. And when he found out that was happening at work, he messaged HR and was like, can I bring my daughter? And they said yes. So we went and um, she enjoyed puppy time with him. And it was so sweet. There were, she's never met puppies. She's met dogs, but never puppies. They were so small and there were so many of them. She didn't know where to look. But when we got there, they had like run all their energy out and they were like just cuddling. They were in puppy piles. There was like five on one guy's lap. Uh, we had two at one point and yeah, they were so, so sweet. And it was like the sweetest. She was so excited. She makes this really high pitch like ah, kind of sound when she's like really excited and happy. And um, yeah, it was so much fun. So that was our Tuesday. Yesterday was kind of like on that thing day, Adam worked the basketball game and um, we we just had a little girlies day at home and then today, yeah, that's, and that brings us to today. So it's been a whole lot of nothing, but I'm going to enjoy this lunch and I've got about an hour before I need to go pick her up. Not, I don't need to pick her up, but I've still been doing short days um, since I'm off. I'm doing a couple hours there and then we're hanging out for the rest of the day. Maybe I'll see you guys later. Maybe I'll see you guys after Christmas. I don't know how things are going at this rate, but um, yeah, I'm going to enjoy this lunch. So I've had the best afternoon with my daughter. We've just been playing and chilling um, and just having a fun afternoon as she just went down for a nap. Um, but we were playing, we were putting all her hats on all her stuffies. And as soon as she found out that her hats can go on her stuffies, like she's like trying to like push them onto her. She doesn't have the coordination to like put it on them yet, but it was really cute. We were having fun. But anyways, she is down for a nap at the moment. So I figured I would get a head start on packing for the weekend. Um, we are going to spend Christmas Eve with my parents. We're going to be driving back home on Christmas Day, but that means Friday, Saturday, Sunday, uh, and then Monday morning, uh, we will be there. So, um, I pulled a couple things. I, her outfit is in her room for tomorrow. Uh, it's really cute, but I figured I would pack, um, her weekend bag. I use my MZ Wallace. Um, I think this bag is called, I think it's their Nick bag, N-I-K, um, in the magnet color. But this is like our, our like, if I need more than just like a couple things for like an afternoon or something, this is the, my go-to diaper bag. I have two pairs of jammies. I don't think these are technically Christmas jammies, but they were right beside a pair of Christmas jammies at Walmart uh, when I went not too long ago. So two pairs of jammies for the weekend. The Christmas jammies she'll wear obviously probably Saturday night. Saturday night and Sunday night. I have these. Oh, I picked up these from Carter's. They're like little fleece lined plaid pants. So everything, all her outfits this weekend are Christmas related. Um, also this Christmas sweater from Walmart. <laughs> so cute. Um, also, I think both of these are like 24 month size 
things. They are a little bit big, but it's just like I refuse to get things that she's gonna wear for like two minutes. Um, a pair of little red socks. Also got this set, hold on. This is from Carter's, Oshkosh Carter's. Um, all of their holiday outfits were like 50% off. So these little pants with a little red shirt. And then this adorable white little cardigan. Oh, this is so cute. With a pair of little red frilly socks. Um, so that is another outfit. I refuse to buy baby things like full price. There are so many sales between like Old Navy and Gap and Carter's and Walmart and there's just so many things. If you're not gonna buy secondhand, don't buy full price. Children are not wearing these clothes long enough, so. Oh, and then I also packed, cause I'm pretty sure that my mom has a few holiday things for her. So she might end up not even wearing all of these. Um, so I did pack two of her, she has these leg warmers which are so freaking cute. Um, and then the only like pantyhose that I have for her are black. Um, but if there's a little dress or something, be prepared with pantyhose and leg warmers. So I've got those. Um, I always put like little pee pads in because those are like the easiest disposable changing pads whenever we go anywhere. Um, they're just handy to have. And then I'll pack some of her food and snacks um and maybe formula honestly she doesn't need that much and i'm very lucky that my mom has um just a lot of things for her already at her house and i've left like baby wash and baby lotion and all that kind of stuff so i don't have to bring it back and forth when i go visit them so i think that might be it aside from like her food and stuff now that she's a little bit older she's a little bit easier to pack for and then we'll pack like the monitor and stuff tomorrow morning because we'll use it tonight now i just have to pack my outfits <laughs> i always have such a hard time deciding ahead of time what i'm gonna wear but because it's christmas weekend i think i'm mostly just gonna pack like cozy sets that seems like the best idea <laughs> i also wanted to share i recently got got by an instagram ad and i got a pack a two pack of these they're called Subo, I think they're by Subo product, but they're food bottles. And the whole premise is that you can put like your, the purees and stuff that come in those packs, or if you make your own purees, um, or something that's more of like a smoothie type consistency can go in here and it's got like a wide nozzle. And then at the bottom, there's a little like valve here so that when she sucks it, this bottom part, will slowly go up so that it's always pushed to the top. And I've used it a couple times already and it is really awesome. It's mess free, like she can't squeeze it the way she can with like one of those pouches because when she gets those, she will literally squeeze it and then half the pouch ends up on her table. Um, but with this, I am confident that if she needs a snack while we are on the road, um, like when we're driving to my parents tomorrow, I can give her this. The only mess that she can make is if she sticks her finger in here once she's like sucked some food out um, because this little nozzle obviously will have some of her food in there and her little finger can fit in and she can like fling it and get it kind of all over. But um, it's not nearly the same kind of mess that she would make if she was holding a little packet. And she loves eating out of this. She just like downs whatever I put in here. Um, so anyways, they're an Australian brand. Um, and then they just launched in Canada, I believe. So Subo product. I love it so far. I got two. And then I also got a replacement straw nozzle. So if you're putting something that's a little more liquidy, a little less thick, um, it's just a smaller nozzle. Anyways, just wanted to shout out a Subo product. I've been loving this so far. And we are definitely bringing this with us. Thank you.